All right, guys. So I just finished watching <clears throat> the season premiere of The Walking Dead, where we finally got to see who got Lucille. And my predictions turned out pretty much right. You had uh, two people die. One was a main cast member in Glenn, and one was a secondary character that we met later on in Abraham. Um, wow, this was actually a pretty intense episode. Um, and what I really noticed during this episode is the music, man. The music really gets you pumped up for those situations. Uh, especially when he's raising the axe about to take out Carl's arm. About to, anyway. Which I think they should have just done it, man. That would have just... I mean, that would have just... I think they should have took his arm just to show how extreme... It just when you thought, oh, it's almost the episode's almost over. But uh, he, he let Rick off, I guess, a little bit easy on that one. But, and then, okay, a lot of people I've heard criticize the acting for the walk, from The Walking Dead. I've really never paid too much attention, you know. But I have to say the performances tonight, in tonight's episode were pretty spot on and pretty good, especially coming from Rick. So maybe I'll have to watch The Talking Dead. I heard uh, the talking on The Talking Dead is pretty much the whole cast, if you will. Um, so I probably have to watch that uh, when I get some time. I don't always watch The Talking Dead. Uh, you know, if there's some uh, guests on that I like, like, Yvette Nicole Brown from Community. She always knows her shit, man. She's a good guest, and uh, as long as it's not Marilyn Manson. But, uh, so yeah, the music was good. Uh, the inter This is pretty much the intro to Negan, and it pretty much shows that, you know what, he's not pulling any punches, and he just broke Rick. He broke Rick, basically. We've never seen Rick this, um, this broken, I guess. We've never seen him act like this, where he's just... He's like hyperventilating and he's just pleading. He's just straight up pleading. And um, so, yeah, I like how Abraham was kind of standing up. And, of course, he had to get his last little word in of suck my nuts. So, <laughs> But Jeffrey D. Morgan, I mean, he, he he's doing great as Negan. Um, I first came across him. I think it was, now don't judge me on this, but he was in Grey's Anatomy. I think he was like Izzy's love interest that eventually dies. Spoiler alert. Uh, and then, of course, in Supernatural as the dad of the Winchester boys. So, you know, I know him from a couple of things. and uh, But he's doing great in this role so far. Um, so, from what I've heard is actually, you know, now that we've got this episode over with, they're actually going to do some episode-centric um, episodes where we might not check in with everybody all the time but it's gonna go and we're gonna get to see the different villages and stuff like that like king ezekiel and stuff like that so th th this next episode should be pretty good um hopefully it's a little bit more lighthearted than this episode was i mean when they threw that moment in at the end where it shows everybody sitting at the table as the last supper type of thing or of what uh, could have been uh that was quite sad to see C cute little baby boy so i guess it was going to be a boy but i'm just i'm just uh, maggie got up and was like you know we got to fight which is definitely not the answer right now you're going to need a lot more intel i mean part of the reason why you're in this mess uh, to begin with is cuz you got a little sh heavy headed and just went straight into it without doing any recognizance or uh reconnaissance i should say um so yeah man you need to do uh, to even take on a crew that's that big <clears throat> is going to take a little stri strate strategy, basically, some strategic moves in there. And d does our do our people have that type of strategic minds in their groups? That's to be determined. But from what I saw in the next episode preview, Rick is just basically like, yo, Negan's running this show now, man. I, he's kind of checked out. He's probably still reeling in from that whole, uh, you know, breakdown just Negan owning them left and right that whole fucking episode uh what else I think that that's about all I want to talk about um so yeah man maybe next episode I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to see the kingdom and Ezekiel and stuff like that and I guess we're gonna check in with Carol um you know so all right man that's been my reaction of The Walking Dead season seven episode one premiere 
<sighs> it was a little bit intense. And actually, you know, it was pretty gruesome, man. Um, of course, as a horror connoisseur such as myself, that really wasn't too bad. But for TV, um, it was pretty cool, man, to see. I mean, oh, when, and when you saw poor old Glenn's still twitching after his just his head and skull have been eviscerated basically via bat it's just man that's crazy stuff so i might react to the it's episode two i might not you never know uh this has been matter of the dvd update as always comment rate subscribe do what you do and i'll see you when i see you